everyone! Welcome to my channel! Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin kung paano ba kunin ang contrapositive, inverse, converse ng isang conditional statement or ng isang statement. Okay? So, simulan natin. Huwag kakalimutang mag-subscribe sa aking solve math like a boss. Okay. <laughs> So, kaya nga nang sabi ko, paano natin kukunin ang converse, inverse, and contrapositive ng isang conditional statement? So, under the logical, logic reasoning, lesson sa grade 8. Una, kami natin ang conditional statement. Conditional statement follows the pattern if then. So, minsan tawag sa kanya if then statement, which have two parts, the hypothesis and conclusion. Yung hypothesis natin, siya yung nauna, and then yung conclusion natin, yung pangalawa. So, sa example na if you missed classes, then you are marked as absent. So, dito, you missed classes is our hypothesis. And then, you are marked, while you are marked is our conclusion. So, it follows the pattern if P, then Q, where P is the hypothesis and Q is the conclusion. So, ibig sabihin sa conditional statement, yung statement after the word if, automatic, automatic, that's the hypothesis. And yung statement after the word then is our conclusion. Now, the example, a polygon that has four sides is a quadrilateral. This is a statement, hindi siya conditional statement. And then, we're going to transform it, this into a conditional statement. Ano ba? Tagalan lang natin ang if and then. So, laging tip lang, check nyo kung ano yung tinutukoy dito sa statement. Diba ang tinutukoy dito yung quadrilateral? So, mas maganda na siya yung gagawin yung conclusion. Okay? Parang dinidescribe, describe mo, then magkoconclude ka dito sa isang term na to. Parang ganun yung idea. Okay? So, this will become, if a polygon has four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. Ganun lang kasimple. A conditional statement has its inverse, converse, and contrapositive forms. So, yung una natin yung converse. Converse of the statement is formed by interchanging the hypothesis and the conclusion. So, yung pagpapalitin lang natin ng pwesto, and it follows the pattern, if Q, then P. Kanina, if P, then Q. Ngayon, Q naman ang nauna. So, kung Yung example natin na conditional statement kanina, kung itatransform natin siya into converse, this will become, if it's a quadrilateral, then a polygon has four sides. So, minsan, titignan nyo din naman kung maganda ba siyang pakinggan. So, kasi pwede rin naman na, if a polygon, so, dito na dito yung polygon, quadrilateral, dito, yung quadrilateral, siya din naman yung conclusion natin kanina, di ba? So, siya lang yung naging hypothesis. It has, yung it, yun yung polygon. Four sides. Ganun lang. So, basta hindi kayo madiligaw sa statement na yung quadrilateral na conclusion mo magiging hypothesis na siya. Ito. After the word it. And then, yung it, four sides mo, four sides, yun na yung after the word it. Siya yung nagiging conclusion mo. Okay? Next. Inverse of a statement is formed by negating both the hypothesis and the conclusion of the conditional statement. So, kanina, di ba, if P, then Q. Ngayon, gagawin mo lang negative. If not P, then not Q. Okay? Parehas negative. Okay? So, yung conditional statement natin, pag itatransform it natin into inverse of a statement, magiging... not a polygon with four sides, then it is not a quadrilateral. Okay? Nilagyan lang natin ng not. Next. Ganun pa din naman. Nenot lang naman natin. Ang contrapositive naman na pa statement is formed by interchanging the hypothesis and the conclusion of inverse. So, yung inverse natin na if not P, then not Q, pabalik na rin lang natin. If not Q, then not P. 
So, kung ito yung index natin kangina, if it's not a polygon with four sides, then it is not a quadrilateral. Yung quadrilateral na to, yung conclusion natin, siya na yung magiging hypothesis. Yan. So, naging, if it's not quadrilateral, then it's not a polygon with four sides. Ito yun. Napunta sa siya sa conclusion, yung polygon with four sides. Ganun lang yung apat na yon. So, to sum it up, conditional statement, if P, then Q. Converse, pagpapalitin lang natin, if Q, then P. Yan. Sa investment, negative lang ng conditional. So, if not P, then not Q. And, sa contrapositive, negative lang siya ng converse. If not Q, then not P. Ganun lang yon. So, si conditional at si converse, Yan, ito yung partner ng switching ng hypothesis and conclusion. Inverse at contrapositive, sila yung uh, opposite yung nagsuswitch. Now, kung naman sa si conditional naman, sin inverse, sila yung opposite yung statements. So, ito positive, nininegate niya. Kung positive, nagiging negative. Kung negative, nagiging positive. Si inverse naman, ang opposite niyan ay si contrapositive. Ganun lang yung pattern na gagawin nyo. So, let's have another example. Lines that do not intersect are parallel lines. So, dito ang tinutukay natin yung parallel lines. So, automatic, ito yung gagawin natin conclusion sa conditional statement. So, conditional statement natin, if two lines do not intersect, then they are parallel. Okay? Yung first statement natin, siya yung naging hypothesis, and then yung parallel lines, siya yung conclusion natin. And yung converse natin, switching lang natin, if two lines are parallel, then they do not intersect. Okay? Nilagyan ko lang ng 2 kasi lines naman siya. So, ibig sabihin more than 1. So, specific ko na lang na 2. Okay? So, if two lines are parallel, yung parallel natin na conclusion kanina, naging hypothesis na siya. And do not intersect, siya na yung bagong conclusion. Inverse or the opposite of conditional, ina-negate lang natin. Magiging if two lines intersect na wala na yung do not, if pinagate a negative, nagiging positive na siya. So, if two lines intersect, they are not parallel. And for the contrapositive, yung negative ng converse, if two lines are not parallel, then they intersect. Kasi they don't intersect. So, ang negative ng don't intersect, they intersect. Ganun lang siya kasi. Okay. So, I hope masagutan nyo yung DLA nyo mga grade 8. Thank you and do not forget to subscribe especially kung bago ka sa aking channel. So, much like a boss. Thank you.